Leo, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. Oh, yes, it is. Welcome, fellow kings and queens. I'm in a mood today, just so you know, so we're going to have a good time. I mean, I'm not, I don't know. It's just one of those days, you know? I think it's the eclipse energy that's coming up. Oh, before I start going on a fucking tangent, we are doing this reading for April 8th all the way to the 14th. So we're going to talk about the eclipse because we did in the last week and I should have went up to Sunday instead of Monday. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing these days. You know, they just, the days all blend together. I'm telling you, I'm in a mood. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can relate. You know what I mean? Because when these eclipses happen, it's, you know, it's blocking out our light. It's, it's bringing the shadow forward. And we are the light. We are the sun. We are ruled by the sun. So it's a little unsettling. You know what I mean? Oh, look, the hangman. Jeff, just let it go. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not really pissed off about anything. It's just like, you know, like, uh, like for instance, you know, like it's, it's raining out. It's kind of warm, but it's kind of chilly. It's damp. You know, everything is kind of like Forks, Washington. It's just really depressing. <sighs> And, you know, and then I go to the gym and, and I just see people just, ugh, and they're Lululemons or whatever the fuck they're called. Those tight ass fucking things. You shouldn't be wearing that shit. And everyone's got these god awful looking headphones on. And, and what are you listening to? Like, is it that important? You know, it's just, ugh, it's just one of them days. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you can relate. You know, like everything is just annoying. And I, I don't know why I'm being like that because I said my affirmations this morning. I don't know why they're not working. <laughs> so let's get the energy for us, okay? I say us because, yeah, I'm a Leo. And sometimes it just get fucking irritated, you know? <laughs> but look, see, we still have a good, good sense of humor about it, you know? Because... We have to. Oh, look at that. Do I take these cards or not? No. Are you sure? No. All right. Yeah, that was weird. All right, so far the Page of Cups and the Tower is here. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and we could also be very dramatic, too. So, you know, I'm gonna, not going to rule that out. Sometimes I do catch myself being just a little dramatic. But you know what? Um, I had to grab that card. Um, I don't know. I, I don't even realize I'm being dramatic. You know, it's just, it's, it's our mode of operation. You know, like if we drop something instead of just picking up, it's like, oh God, I'm sick of dropping things. You know, it's just so, I don't know. It's, to know me is to love me, I guess. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Um, yes. Uh-huh. Yep. And wow, this came out in Aries readings too. And I'm telling you, I like fucking, I like shuffled the shit out of these cards before I even hit record. All right. Yeah, this is the way it wants it to go. All right, Leo, let's do this. Yeah, the energy's starting to flow, man. I'm feeling it. See, that's another thing. When I'm in a mood, because I am a mood, um, as soon as I start doing readings, it washes that away. So, you know, it just works. Let's see what we got for the week. The Tower. The Seven of Cups. Hmm. The Ten of Wands. Uh-uh. The Sun. Fucking A right. Page of Swords. Hmm. The Page of Cups, ooh. So, <laughs> that's your reading in a nutshell. So, the Tower, that's the eclipse energy, you know? That is the eclipse blocking our sun, you know? And I think as the days come forward to Monday, I feel more of that. So, I have to process that, you know? Laugh it off. This is the only way that I'm really getting through this mood is... Being goofy about it, you know? Don't take it so seriously. You're being a bitch, Jeff. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure you could relate. So we've got three chunks here. 
two cards, problem, solution, problem, solution, problem, solution, or just solutions for the outcome is just solutions. This is ba mainly the work right here, and we'll get to it. The Tower and the Seven of Cups. You need to make a choice. Are you going to be focusing on tower moments when everything seems to be falling apart, kind of like the mood I'm in now? Or are you going to unburden yourself and shine as brightly as the sun? That's it right there. Make the choice not to look at all the negative things or the things that piss you off or, thing, or things that annoy you and unburden yourself from that. Unburden yourself from thinking the other shoe is going to drop. You know, a lot of people, I did a lot of readings last couple days and a lot of people have that belief. If something good's going on, something bad's got to happen. That's not the way it goes. And you have to not do that to yourself because then you're self-prophesizing, you know? So it's a choice to move forward, unburden yourself with the Ten of Wands, you know? Moving forward and doing it confidently with the sun. That's our energy, baby. Isn't that a beautiful... You could just stare at that all day. And you see how this person is taking in that sun's energy. It is time to move forward confidently. When you do, new ideas come to you. Start applying them. Start applying them. When you move forward and shine confidently, the Page of Cups shows an offer comes in. So we're talking about love, anything in that realm. Let's clarify. I like it. Man, I'm beating the shit out of these cards. But that's what they're for. They're not supposed to sit there. Thank God they don't. <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, I'd, I never thought I'd be using my tarot cards so much. I think I use my tarot cards more than I drive my car. That's kind of sad. Is it? Man, I'm telling you, I'm in a mood. Oh, shit. <laughs> we need to put to rest the temptation to constantly focus on the negative. And you know what? This, uh, uh, there's another message here, too. And this is about sex. Put yourself out there, Leo. Don't bitch about how you're not getting it. Go out and get it. Divine timing is getting the mix right. There's got to be patience involved with this. Temperance, getting the mix right. You see how that angel is mixing that cup? Just getting that right. Trusting the intuition. Opening their third eye. Opening their heart. Putting this to rest. It's a real big thing to where, well, don't dwell on this. Change the energy. And you're able to do that this week. Okay? Let's get some oracles. Pretty damn good. But don't. Don't be tempted to focus on the negative. Be happy about it. Let it go, you know? In the scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. Especially if it's in the past. It doesn't matter. It's already over with. There's nothing you can do about it. Sitting around sulking isn't going to do anything, you know? Yeah, that's sacral energy. Ooh, the devil card is out again. Hmm... <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's time for the end of mental conflict. We've got the Four of Swords putting that to rest. It's about, it's, a, it's really about getting some rest and rejuvenating also. And trusting your intuition. I see how this is all unfolding together here. And look at this, Leo. <clears throat> Um, please make sure little children aren't listening. I hope they're not, because I swear an awful lot. And, um, yeah, when the devil and the sacral card come out, there's a dual meaning here. First of all, don't be tempted to waste your creativity away. With these, with these pages, it's time to bring them out into the open. But there's another message here, and I felt it when the devil card came out here by itself, is that I think our lions need to roar 
I got a lime in my pocket, and baby, he is ready to raw. You goddamn fucking right. And yes, that may be why I'm in a mood. Maybe that's why some of you fellow Leos are in a mood, because we need some. You know, we got the lion in our pocket, and that baby is ready to roar. I'm telling you right now, that's it for some of you. But that opportunity comes in when you least expect it. You need to let go of, I'm never going to get it. Never going to get it, 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 never going to get it. Woo, 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 woo. See? You see how you have a choice. I'm doing it right now during this reading. I was bitching about the mood I was in. And when I see this symbology laid out in front of me, like, mm, dude, it's a choice. All of a sudden my mood changes and I'm starting to like totally goof off, but I'm still giving the message. But you see, you see, there's a temptation here to get real negative. No one likes a Debbie Downer, you know, wah, wah. it's just not that sure as hell ain't going to get you laid. I'll tell you that. So charm the shit out of them, Leo. <laughs> Yes. All right. Where'd that card go? All right. Hold on a second, folks. Oh, I'm so sore. I got to stretch. I worked out a little hard in the gym because I didn't go to the gym on Monday because it was Easter and it was probably the perfect day to go. But y'all, I couldn't do it. All right. Sadness and isolation. Yeah. All right. I see where this is going. Lots of sexual frustration can turn into sexual satisfaction if you choose. Daydreams and decisions. Again, there's a strong message for some of you Leos that there is some creative endeavors that need to come to the surface. It's time. Make the decision. Seven, seven. Take the lead this week and love abounds I'm telling you there's an offer coming in it's all in how you perceive it folks it's all in how you perceive it and yeah that's something else <laughs> let's look at love that last card was the ace of cups yeah no more feeling lonely you know Heavy is the head that wears the crown. So, with that being said, take the lead. All right. I love that. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. It's true. It really is. Now, let's get some love tarot. All of a sudden, I've turned British. So, what we've got in the love department, my God, you can't make this shit up. You need to take the lead. You need to have faith. There is, all right, now I get a snap back in it. There is a spiritual union taking place here. That's going to be also emotionally and physically satisfying. I don't know, Leo. I think you're going to meet somebody in the time here because you're going to take the lead and not let the sexual frustration get to you and you're going out and getting some. Uh, <clears throat> Ace of Wands, big wood energy. That's what it's all about. And you deserve it because love abounds. You just have to open up to it. Look at message, 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. Not only is this going to be a great relationship, but it's going to be stable and long lasting. If you choose to open up to it, that is fucking incredible. Oh, I feel so much better now, but I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I think you already know where I'm going with this. I'm going to tell you something. If, if I don't get some soon, all work and no play makes Jeff a very angry boy. So I don't need to get some. And there's a lot of green here. So I'm looking at open your heart, you know, open your heart, y'all. Okay. What do we got here? Ooh. Mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson, so make the decision and take the lead. Now look at this. Strictly sexual. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. Um, we've gotten a lot of clarification. Some of you, that may be the case. 
That's why the devil card came out here is maybe it's just all about sex. Maybe it's just a sexual urge you have. Maybe it's that sexual energy coming out like, Ow. but chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. Yeah. Something is in the works here for you, Leo. You know, and I feel on a personal, personal level as a Leo, I kind of feel that because I've done the work. Now it's making the decision to just open up to it. That's the hardest part. You know what I mean? We can get let go of our exes and bad experiences and bad beliefs, but actually opening up to that possibility that it, as soon as you do, you attract it in. It's scary, you know, but look at this baby. Oh yeah, it's good. All right, Leo, let's get a closing message for you because we're going on 16 minutes. Son of a bitch. I love it though. I love it. I love doing readings for Leo. I mean, I love doing readings for everybody, but you know, I just got a special place in my heart for you all. Ask for help, Leo. You're being asked to request a help from another. Hey, you know, I got an itch. Can you scratch it? I can't reach it. <laughs> you don't need to deal with the issue alone. No, you don't. There are many people who want to help you. Oh, but it's up to you to bravely ask for their support. Hmm. It's a sign of strength to reach out. So do that today. Take the lead. Miracles. Leo, you're being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred. And also those that are currently in the works and are still to come. Miracles surround you. Be on the lookout for them. It's going to take a miracle. <laughs> but I believe in them. And you know what? I'm going to ask for help. Hey, do you have a helping hand? You know what I mean? <laughs> Just... All right, Leo, that's your energy for the week. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put in the comments, I claim it, you know, so we can get a little thumb, 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 thumb. Okay? Put a little line in there, too. And I love you all, and I will see you next week.